Hi folks, in this video we're going to be looking at assembling pushfit miniatures. Now there are some quirks to pushfit miniatures and I'm going to assemble this free handout Stormcast Eternal and see if I can pass on some tips and tricks to ensure you get the best build out of pushfit miniatures. So without any further ado, let's cue the music. I'm going to start out by running through the tools I'll be using to assemble this. I'll be using some plastic glue, controversial I know for push fit miniatures, but it will help us with some minor gap filling and making sure the parts sit properly together, some form of hobby knife or mold line remover just to clean up any flash or mold lines left from the casting process, and a pair of hobby snippers. They don't have to be a decent pair, but you can use whichever ones you have. I'm just using a pair from Games Workshop for this video. The first thing I want to cover is removing pieces from the sprue. Now, often Games Workshop tell you to keep the flat of the blade against the part, but sometimes it's difficult to get into the part, and it can be that it's a bit of a fragile part, so I can recommend keeping the flat bit of the blade towards the miniature, but also take a bit of the sprue with the miniature. As you can see here, there's a bit of sprue still stuck on its leg. This is much easier once it's off the sprue to get rid of it, and there's a lot less pressure onto the piece itself. It is much less likely to snap if you're removing the excess sprue when you've got much more free control of the angle on the blade. Once fully removed from the sprue, we can then come in with our hobby knife and look to get rid of any mould lines, burrs, and excess flash left behind from the sprue and the casting process. To get rid of burrs and excess flash from the casting process, gently using your hobby knife blade, cut away at any unwanted pieces of plastic. To get rid of mould lines, locate the unwanted thin raised line and gently run your hobby blade over it until the line has disappeared. Pushfit miniatures often have strange building orders, such as the fact that this head and leg are on the same piece, with a wibbly connector held in place between the back and the front parts of the torso. Often this makes the model quite difficult to work with if you are trying to do things in stages, especially if you're trying to come back to it later. So I always recommend gluing models together. And you don't need too much, as the model is designed to fit together without glue, but I would just recommend doing a little bit of poly cement any brand will do and just gently pushing the piece into place. You'll find that you'll get a much more secure fit and the model will be much tougher when handling on the table for play. The last tip that I recommend for assembling push ship miniatures is to cut down ever so slightly any pegs and pins to hold parts together. Due to the push fit nature and they're designed for not being used with glue, these pins are often too long and don't get the snug, nice fit that you'd see from a multi-part kit. His bum falling off there is a good example of what happens if you don't glue a peg together. Here, I'm applying a little bit of glue into the hole where the push fit peg would go into, and it doesn't bind quite as immediately as it would as if it was the full length peg from the push fit, but it is long enough still and with some glue that you'll get a lovely secure finish. And due to the fact that we've glued it, this is getting a much more natural and much more snug fit than we would as if we'd left that at its full length pin. And after attaching to his base, the Stormcast is now complete. Following along with these tips, you too can assemble your own push fit miniatures and you'll find that they'll have much secure connections for gaming and they won't have any nasty gaps left behind by two long pins. If you like this video, why not consider subscribing? It's free of charge, you help me out, and you'll get videos just like this one in your YouTube feed. So, until next time folks.